Brooksaw Antiques here. Today we have this 1941 Remington Quiet Model 1 vintage portable typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. Up top is the adjustable paper guide and this just helps you load the page in straight. I'm going to line that up with the edge of the platen which is the main roller that feeds the paper and behind this panel are the margins and you just push them down and move them like that from side to side. That's the left margin, this is the right margin. I'm just going to line them up um, as close to the paper fingers as possible so I get as much space. You can't really set them past the paper fingers or else you'll get stuck on them. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit this line space, get you back to the beginning. It's one, two, or three spaces. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, there's a switch right here. You flip it down one and it skips two. You flip it down one more and it skips three. That works good. We're gonna keep it on single and finish typing. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. Really nice type of machine. This is, if you're familiar with some of these models, it's pretty much the same model as the Noiseless, but it's just got a different name, Quiet Model 1. So the, all the parts and the patents look almost exactly the same as Noiseless. I'm sure the parts will fit the same as well. Um, and it's not completely noiseless. It's basically like a muffled silencer on a gun. It's still, you could still hear the typing, but it just doesn't, um, travel the sound doesn't travel like a regular typewriter does into other rooms you basically just you could just hear this in the same room but if you're in another room you won't really hear it hurt to pull the page out easy there's a switch on the right side here you just flip it back and it unlocks the roller underneath the platen allowing you to pull the page out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it won't load correctly got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left to clear that just hit the shift button again backspace on the top left that works good. Margin release on the top right. When you get to the end of the margin, let's move this paper finger so we can. There's a mechanism that locks the keys so they don't print. And if you hit that margin release, it will allow you to type past that block and finish what you have to finish at the end of the margin. On the right side here, this is your touch control from low to high. The further down you go, it loads a spring that increases the tension when you hit the keys. They respond much faster, but they you do have to hit them harder for them to print. I like to keep that on low personally. Um, this is your color selector switch on the right side. Right now we're on red, which doesn't really matter if you have all black ribbon, but this is going to print the bottom portion of the ribbon if you have it all the way up. It'll print the top portion of the ribbon, ribbon if you have it in the middle. It won't print at all. It'll just leave indentions for copying purposes. I like to leave that on blue, and you can use that ribbon twice by changing from blue to red if you have a solid black ribbon. This is your carriage lock. So when you push it, it, it releases the carriage and then it'll lock right there in the middle position. So when you have it in the case, it doesn't go slimming, causing wear and tear on your typewriter. Carriage release. This is your normal carriage release. Very smooth. This is the one on this side. And this button here on the knob, if you push it in and turn, it disables the spacing so you can get to an exact spot on the page. You let it go. You get those clicks. Each one of those clicks is one space. And this little button here is your ribbon reverse. So I just pushed it in from the other side. And if you do that, it'll pull to the side you push it to. So right now, if I push it, it's going to start pulling to the left. But all the brand new ribbons loaded on the left side, so we want it to pull to the right. So I push it in, and now it's going to pull to the right. And that's it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.